I mean, Man of Steel, even though it was a much bigger budget, it had a very similar feel to it. I mean, Zack is a very down-to-earth kind of guy. Those movies are very physical. You're always doing training and you know, Zach's a real physical guy himself. He's always like throwing a football around between takes. This was much more, you know, cerebral. Money. Yeah. Yeah, money. There's 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 a lot of money in one and not a lot of money in the other. I think we all get uncomfortable with a lot of money. I remember seeing the big boxing match that was on recently between Pacquiao and the other guy who beats his wife, wives, Mayweather, and uh, the excess of money. I felt like my eyes were bleeding watching it televised. There was something so scary about the excess and the and the greed and I love the art of boxing I can watch that all day but all of the the glorification of excess and greed I mean like that's that's the main difference and uh, you know I love I, I love big films I love watching big films I, I, I have a different relationship to acting in them um, but I love watching them so it's a it's complex. I learned a lot about something I didn't really know much about. I always kind of enjoy that about what I do. A lot of projects will force you to take a look at something that you may not have otherwise spent much time thinking about. It's a crisis that I was aware of, this foreclosure crisis, but I was also kind of bewildered by it. I didn't really understand it. I honestly didn't pay a lot of attention to it because I felt intimidated by it. It says you are to vacate these premises today. We were scared this of this. Home is owned by the bank. I feel like that's why the movie's important, and that's why I admire that Ramin said, no, we, we really need to look more closely at this, and he created a piece of drama that is engaging, I think, and also gives people a glimpse into what was really happening. There's lots of people out there who are going through this who feel like they aren't doing enough and they'll never do enough. Men that I met in Florida who aren't sleeping, who are spending 18 hours of the day awake, searching for work, searching for a route, some way in to make sure that their kid is fed, to make sure that their, their family is clothed. And they feel that not enoughness. When is it enough? When, it, when, when is it, oh wait, no, I, I'm here doing everything I can actually. And there's something, there's a door that, that, that someone else needs to open. For. I need someone to open the door for me because I'm bashing my head against it. I paid $50 cash. What, are you kidding me? $50 shouldn't be a joke to you, son. The audience's way into the film is, is through Dennis, to look at what he's going through and relate that to how you navigate your own life and the choices you make. I mean, on paper, it's a very sound system. It makes a lot of sense, but when you add human beings into the mix. Does he have to stand there while she packs up? Is that right? I mean, the fact of the matter is you're not gonna come up with a system for corralling us that's gonna always work, you know? I mean, we're imperfect. Everyone's gonna bring their own story to it. Everyone's gonna bring their own their own identification and their own feeling of exile, because everyone's felt exiled. And I think it's impossible not to identify, because um, it's, it somehow feels like this universally American story, which is a scary thing to, uh, to know, to see the pain of this situation, even if we don't know it in such a visceral way, to go, oh, that could be me. That is me, in fact, in some way. Go, go, put the gun down! Put the gun down! Only one in a hundred's gonna get on that ark, son. Every other poor soul's gonna drown. I can quote some Shakespeare to you, which might be a little bit questionable. In a French lesson that the Princess of France is having, she speaks about le foot de la cunt. La foot de la cunt? De la cunt. Don't look at me so offended like that. The man wrote it. Ribbled.